of me, a full part of me is in love, I know we just met But a part of you is in part of me, that's how I know it's more than just sex I'm like, oh girl, you're my ghost girl, you, uh, you take away my breath And if I break your heart and you break my heart, then there's not a lot of heart left And I ain't the best at this, that's my exorcist, they'd probably be glad to tell you this Thinking that you rebellious, you got a belly button ring with the belly Porch like mom's not home. not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. Alright guys, it has been a long 24 hours. Uh, I'm not running on too much sleep. I woke up at 4 a.m. yesterday, but I'm finally back to one of my favorite places on the planet, uh, my grandparents' house up in northern Michigan. I'm gonna be on the lake for the next couple days, and something really big just happened. I just got back from Air Force field training. Um, what a time. Uh, I'm gonna talk about it a little bit in this video. Basically, for those of you that don't know, in the Air Force RTC program, it's kind of split between your freshman and sophomore and your junior and senior year. And between, in that like sophomore summer, um, everyone has to go to what they call field training, which is a two week, uh, basically evaluation period where they test out all the stuff that you're supposedly supposed to learn over the past two years and evaluate you whether you're like worthy enough, like you're worthy enough leader to advance to um, the professional officer corps your junior and senior year, we're actually gonna be leading the rest of the Air Force detachment at your school. So I literally woke up at 4 a.m., jumped on a bus to the Atlanta airport from Maxwell Air Force Base where it was, uh, then had a like layover at the airport for like five hours and then had to fly to Virginia. Like two hours later, I left my house after just getting there and began like a 14 hour drive up to Northern Michigan and I'm finally here now. So I wanna sit down and kind of give my thoughts on what's sitting on my mind right now because it was a pretty big experience in my life. For those of you that aren't ROTC or don't really care, definitely stick around because there'll be some funny stories and, and if you are ROTC, maybe some of my experiences might be helpful. Um, now I wanna say that the, the purpose of this video is not to give any tips or tricks. There's plenty of other videos on YouTube that give you tips or tricks for field training and honestly, I kind of have a firm belief that nothing is really going to prepare you for what you experience there. It's kind of, it's very much, although you're in a flight and you have to work like as a team and everything, it's very much an individual experience. Kind of you learn about, learn a lot about yourself throughout the journey. And I kind of feel that everyone has to kind of find their own path in field training per se. And I, I really don't want to give too much away in that route. I will talk about some of my experiences, my overall thoughts about the program. So I had a pretty good idea of what to expect. I had a lot of great training at my detachment at Yale. Um, they did a really great job this past year working with the field training preparation class, really getting us prepared with like the drill, the customs and courtesies, all the knowledge we have to learn. And because they, you show up there and they expect you to know it. Like it's very much an evaluation. They, it's called field training, but you show up and you're being evaluated the entire time. I mean, you have a captain in the Air Force and like an uh, upperclassman cadet literally in your face, 16 hours a day, um, either yelling at you, creating a stressful environment, or sitting there with the clipboard writing stuff down about your leadership style. So it's very much an evaluation. And although there is some training as aspects, like it's it's where you put your skills to the test. So to give a little more background information on the program. It's 14 days, it's in the middle of the summer, they have a, a bunch of different slots you can go to. I chose to go to the fifth slot, which they call Max 5. So it was pretty hot down in uh, Montgomery, Alabama. Low to mid 90s every day, super humid, not the best environment, especially when you're wearing full ABUs and you're just sweating through them by like 11 a.m. every day. And it's very overwhelming, like the it's 14 days and the first couple days, they're really just there to kind of push you. Um, they're, they're not very enjoyable days. There's not a lot of fun stuff the first couple days and you're you're getting yelled at. You're you're like they're creating an intense environment for you. Every single mistake you make, every single thing you do is being criticized and uh, it takes it takes a lot of getting used to. I have to say probably the hardest thing about field training for me was it wasn't super physically intensive, although there were some physical aspects and it wasn't like a super academic either, although there were some academic aspects, but it was very much mentally draining. Like it took a lot of mental fortitude to kind of be thinking constantly 16 hours a day because you couldn't just sit there and be passive. You could never be passive during field training because you were always had to think a couple steps ahead about what you're gonna do. Even if you weren't in a leadership position, like I was only flight commander one day and like squadron commander another day. But for the other days, like I was, I either had like a smaller position in the flight or I was just like being a follower. And like, you can't just sit there and be a follower. You have to be an active follower. You have to be constantly helping the people around you, thinking about what am I gonna do? What's my next decision gonna be? And like constantly being in that mindset about what you're gonna do next and how you're gonna approach different situations that might arise for 16 hours a day for 14 days straight is just absolutely draining. Regardless, I do feel like my leadership skills developed a lot. 
Um, and I feel a lot more prepared to have a leadership role in my detachment this next semester. And it, honestly, it kind of kind of got me hyped up for this next semester. Um, I'm excited to take a bigger role in the detachment and uh, get to know some, some of our new incoming cadets. So that's about it for this discussion of field training. Uh, like I said, I wanted to keep it pretty general. I don't want to give too many things away because there's a lot of cool stuff you do experience there. Like, I don't want to, don't get me wrong, I did have some fun. Um, it does get more fun as the days progress a little bit. But like I said, there's plenty of videos if you want tips and tricks. I'm not here to give that to you. I'm just here to kind of give you my overall thoughts and some of the experiences. You can sit there and have a terrible time, but they give you these constraints and these rules that you have to follow. And you can really stretch them and do as, do as much as you want with them. And I, I maybe even have a little fun along the way. So that's what, how I spent my past two weeks. Now I'm up, like I said, I'm up in my grandparents' house in Houghton Lake, Michigan, having an absolute time, uh, relaxing for a couple days, you know, having fun, actually taking my time when I eat, you know, being able to look around, being able to talk, being able to, you know, walk freely and not have to march in formation. So that's great. And I'm relaxing for a couple days before I head back to campus for Camp Kesem, which begins on uh, in just a couple days, which is crazy. I'm so excited to go back there. That's about it for this video. I had a lot of people asking me kind of what the field training experience was like and if I could share a little bit. Um, so I hope this is helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I was able to kind of be a little reflective and show how I grew from this experience. But anyways, I'm wasting time here. I gotta go hit the lake. I only have a couple days here and uh, the water's looking pretty nice for, for some water skiing right now. So uh, I'm gonna head out. If you like this video, if you're an RTC cadet and maybe you're heading to field training, you've already been to field training, let me know about your experiences down in the comment section below. If you like this video, if you want me to make more RTC related content, like I said, it's just one of like the many aspects of my life that I like to share on this channel. So by no means is this an ROTC Air Force related channel. By no means is this just a magic related channel. Like there's a lot of different videos and a lot of different routes I'd like to follow on this channel. So if you would like to see more stuff in this domain, please let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, if you find it remotely helpful or you just liked hearing me talk for a couple minutes, drop a like. It helps me and supports the channel a lot more than you think. And if you're new, subscribe. And uh, with that, I'm gonna go hit the water because it's been a long time and I'm ready to get out of this house.